Hello, Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today. Hero887, your host, welcoming you to day 58 of the countdown to Shadow of War. A much anticipated fun game. We've been doing daily content, daily gameplay of the first game, and daily tips and what we can expect, little gold nuggets as I call them, for the upcoming Shadow of War. And so today is Day 58 Countdown, and as I mentioned in the previous episode, if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it tomorrow. Or, I'm sorry, not tomorrow. Well, there will be one tomorrow too. But go back yesterday, and I talked about strategic war tactics, and then I mentioned briefly about how I would today talk about branding and building your own lore loyal war chiefs to fight for you as your war captains in awesome armada. Now if that doesn't sound interesting, I don't know what is. As we all have come to love the nemesis system in Shadow of Mordor, the nemesis system is going to be not just a little bit better, I mean it's like a whole hundred times better. By that we'll be probably discussing more, but what I want to make mention is that from every war you can um, basically grow your captains to be stronger. Every siege, your captains can level up, and if they're not already leveled up, you can go do other things to help them become more strong. I'll say more on that in a moment. But I want to also mention that in each war, you build a history with your friends, your allies, your branded minions, if you wish to call them. And what's interesting is that each of them have their, their own volition, in a sense that, yes, they're under your hand, they're under your command, but they have, well... The possibility to betray you as well as become more loyal. So here's an example. If you desert a war chief to say, I don't know, bleed out and die on the battlefield, <laughs> I mean, that happens, right? You're in the, in the midst of a siege and, you know, you just can't save everybody, right? I wish you could, maybe when you level up. But either way, whatever happens, some for some reason, let's say a war chief is dying and he is left for dead. Well, if he survives, I, from what I can understand, the devs have said that the nemesis system will take note of that. It's merciless. It tracks everything. And it gives extreme, unique personalities to every orc in your army, and especially the war chief. So here's what it can do. It may increase the chance that that specific war chief who was bleeding out on the battlefield and survived will betray you in a future battle. Perhaps may mutant, go all mutinizing on your your butt and it'd be horrible so <laughs> I'm just saying that's pretty awesome and it makes you want to make sure that when you go into a siege you're ready to win because uh, it can cause more problems for yourself if you don't so let's talk about that when you go into a siege here's what you want to make sure to do to invest in them to make them more stronger so how do you do that well for example you can send them on missions to, to up their power and just similar as we saw in Shadow of Mordor you can send them on certain uh, various missions whether that's hunting or do, uh, fights and stuff and it ups their power furthermore you can do so in Shadow of War in each of the regions you go to conquer prior to your siege on the fortress which will up your overall level for the siege ability or siege power if you will call it I'm not really sure the technical term on um, board you can also recruit new allies in the region you're about to go which also boosts your power or if you want to help your existing war chiefs become even more strong for example more aesthetically or more uh, let's say strategically you can get them mounts such as Karagors um, maybe even Grogs I'm not really sure but perhaps and I will not go far to say that that's confirmed I do know you can get them Karagor mounts which is very awesome and uh, you can even get them better weapons and that is confirmed from what I heard the devs talking about in their discussions and that's something that's really cool for me because um, not only can you up their power level but say you can go on a special mission to get them a sweet weapon or an awesome mount that maybe even be armored because in previous episodes uh, we did talk about armored mounts so that's a real thing and perhaps getting them an armored mount will really help you in battle and against uh, fire damage so just have to say if you don't know what that is go back and watch the other episodes it is a playlist. Check out the playlist in the description below. Well, without further ado, I do want to make a transition now to the gameplay. But before I do so, let me just... I know I just said without further ado. But well, let me just make, quickly mention that tomorrow, day 57, today is v day 58 in the countdown. But tomorrow, I'm going to talk about um, how you can appoint a war chief as an overlord. And what are the pros and cons if you choose wisely or unwisely? All right, so without further ado, at this time, let's jump into the gameplay. All right, so welcome to the Shadow of Mordor, the first in the awesome original game. We're still playing as um, the lady. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous episode. We saw her really kick some butt uh, with those uh, war chiefs. And it was a close call last battle. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it was very, very exhilarating, and I really thought I was going to die. Two times, if not three or more. And there's like 50 works. You really go. You need to go check it out. Previous episode, um, I think it was day 50, 59 maybe? 
Anyway, check out the playlist below if you're interested in doing so. We're going to go move on to the story mode here and uh, see what we can do. So kick back and enjoy some of these awesome cutscenes. Surely to come. Because I know that I will. Mm. Oh. You saw what these monsters are capable of. It is madness to stay here. Yes, but circumstances have changed. Don't you see we have him on our side now? Why would he want to help us? Weeks ago, he was our enemy. Talion, ready to pick that fight? <sighs> I'd best take these bandages to the others. The orcs are building a monument to honor Sauron. We have enough blasting powder to destroy it. Fine. I'll take it and I'll finish this. Not without me, you won't. But your only concern was saving your wife. So did I. Come on, let's go before I change my mind. Looks like we gained, gained an ally back here. Kind of cutting remark. Aaron's words. Her heart is with our people. The slaves you helped us free know where the Dark Lord's monument is most vulnerable. We will strike there. We'll need to steal a cart of grog from the Uruk. Of course. It will make quite the trigger for the blasting powder. Oh, I thought we were going to drink it. Let's move. It's probably the one thing that you never want to drink is grog. Uh oh, it sounds like ghouls. I hate ghouls. Yep, there they are. Tiny little boogers. Die! Ah! <laughs> That's a pretty sweet swing. And a nice sheath of the sword. I love these, um... Animations. The ghouls have turned on the Uruks. Nature's darkness cannot be tamed. That's right. Breach it, man. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> the cards are no bad. Be ready. Where there's Grog, there's Uruks. Oh, so wise. So wise, well, you are. No Uruks will draw breath. You okay. So clear the area. No problemo. We're going to assassinate all these dudes, huh? Oh! I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, you better not have liked it. Assassinate your gut! <laughs> that was so funny, I jumped down, up and down, up and down. And all along... Oh, you missed me! Oh, you're gonna not kill him? You let me do it? That's so nice of you. As, you know, ladies get the kill. There's some dudes over there. This guy's unsuspectingly going to die! Well, maybe he kind of did suspect it. He saw it coming. Come on over here. Attract. Attract him with your beauty. Oh, that was... Oh, look who we have! Oh, I thought... Okay, I thought that bar was... um. A bar of somebody. Uh oh, we have ourselves an uh, archer up up yonder. Just to take him out with a bow shot. Boom! Head pop. Oh, I ran out of the juice. Oh, nice! You took out of his shield. Double team. Oh, here's a guy. Oh, I should have waited to pull that back a little bit more. Oh well. Did you see his bow fly? It's like gone. All clear, men. Excellent, Talion. Now we must ensure our men can push the cart to the monument free from harm. Very good. Free from harm. You got it, boss. Can I ride Karagors yet? How fast evil corrodes. I'm gonna I'm gonna check. That'd be nice, right? To ride some Karagor action. Mm-hmm. Nope. Don't have it yet. Should I unlock it? That's a whole point. I'm 194 away. I think I think vaulting would be more valuable, don't you guys? Maybe throwing daggers. Hmm, what do you all think? Oh, a lethal version of Shadow Strike. I like that one. But vaulting is such a fun one too. Ah choices, choices. So many choices, eh? Vaulting is gonna come in handy. Especially in the large crowds. 
Gondor must not fall prey to the shadow. That's weird. Her voice changed. Watch out for those bushes. They're let's sharp. Move. Might be poison ivy up in there. All right, let's move. I'm not afraid of anything. Might as well gather some little flowers for the lady. Wait. What? Something hides in the dark. Oh, great. Ghouls. They will pick the meat from our bones. Oh, they will? That's disgusting, you bunch of carnivores. You cannibals. Oh, I punched that dude in the face. You're gone. <laughs> That's great. It's like, whoa, boom. She's got some power. And those forearms. Those delicate forearms have some serious punching ability. What's all this about? The Uruk camp lies before us. Great. Kill the lot so my men can pass. All right, let's just go you kill them. assistance, I'll be close. Yeah, you You just hide in, hide in your little cave. Ah, oh, that burns. <laughs> it's going to hurt a lot more. No, they're not. They've come out to play. The ghouls are here to play with you, mates. Hey, stop hurting the ghouls, huh? Oh, man, I just need to hurry up and... Oh, really? Ghouls will take care of the fool. Well, I thought they could. There's a bow and arrow dude up in here? Okay. Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go. Really? You're still alive after fighting all those ghouls? Well, I took care of that problem. Hey. Ghoul. No, no, no. You didn't see nothing. Just my blade in your face. Okay. So that does that. Higrun, come forth, you fool. I did your dumb task. And of course, the whole time, you're hiding over here. Oh, what else am I supposed to kill? Now you come out, you idiot. What abilities do we have? Oh good, I got a new ability, that's nice. I could ride Karagors now. Oh, I'm gonna pass. He's probably gonna tell me I can't ride him anyways. Oh! Yeah, they're all dead, you idiot. Why'd you pull your sword out? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fighting side by side. Who would have thought? Oh, who would have thought? Yeah, you coward. Oh my goodness. Just need to punch this fool. Oh, fighting side by side. <laughs> I was there by your side the whole time. My men can use this distraction to push the cart beneath the bridge unseen. That's a good plan. This guy, I think he has like some ability to control the ghouls because they're always on these missions with him. He's letting on to less than what is true. You know, he lights up yellow like Some I should kill beasts. him, you know. You'll get Uru guts as a reward. Ah. Ah. Oh, here's a ghoul. Ooh, no more ghoulie. <laughs> Just love punching him, it's great. Archers behind us. They'll never see us though, because we're running through the, the bushes. Even though they can probably see us. That guy should at least. The dead rumble! They're upon us! They're upon us! No! No! Get away, you ghoulies! I'm gonna drain your guts! Just punching them all is great. Hey! Take it easy, huh? Take it easy, huh? Uh-oh. They're outnumbering us. No! Bad ghoulies! No! There! Good job, Wraith. Kelebin Bowl. Well, they managed to take down like a centimeter of health. It's no big deal. Where's this grog cart, you fool, huh? 
My men will protect the cart. Let's clear the ridge so they may pass. All right, very good. I think there's a bunch of archers we gotta kill or something. Pretty sure that's what happens. Just like tons of archers around. I really want to ride the Kira going. Better pass. Right, Italian. The next outpost will be the largest. It's too quiet. Something is amiss. Wow, she's got a deep voice. <laughs> Sorry, it's the second time I made that joke. So lame. It's just so misleading to have a girl skin. Uh oh, ghoulies! Oh, they're all after him for a change. That's nice. Oh, a Karagor! Hey! Oh, good thing we got rid of that. <laughs> Look at him on the ground like a little girl covering his face. Wow, that's a disjointed um, Karagor. <laughs> Look at Look at that, it's like doing a crazy stance or something there. Oh, I can't control the camera. But anyway, you get the point. Categories. One enemy replaces another. That does not look comfortable. Let's go, he gun. Let's go. Alright. This mission is turning out to be kind of long, but we'll get through it here. It's so boring. Can we go already? The monument is upon us. A That's a cool monument. Darkness built by the blood of my people. I will relish its destruction. Mmm, I like some relish on hot dogs look. too. Yeah. That monument will Still soon flavored. fall. How is that gonna happen? There, Ranger. Our success depends on your ability to clear the outpost of Uruk. Only then can my men get into position to destroy the monument. You got it, boss. I'm gonna kill him. Yosef. The Uruk's numbers dwindle now that their war chiefs have fallen by my hands. That's good. Hey, boy, where you running, huh? Where you running, you fool? Shoot you in the booty. <laughs> All right, he's not even a target, so no reason to waste my arrows on that fool, I guess. All right, back to finding the fools. Hey, there's one. Oh, that was a close. Close one. This will be simple enough, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, don't mess with the best. Off with your head, she says. <laughs> Alright. There's lots of arrow arrows around here. Can make use of those. Oh, there they are. One little orky, two little orky, three little orky. Oh, more of shot needed. That was fun. Hey, here's a oh boy. Hey, can you give me some elf shot? I could really use some. And I'm just gonna drain you some more. Get all of your goodies out of your brain. <laughs> and off with your head at the same time. Oh, hey, guys, no fighting. Unless if you're gonna be exploding. Oh, look at all of the beautiful. Dist oh, I missed. Well, there you go. I cleared the camp. And three shots. No, six Everyone shots. To the monument! Italian's back. Defend Grog. Oh, that's a great idea, guys. I'll handle the Onyx. You handle the car with the explosives. Ah, ah, I've got me in the brain control. Oh, oh, oh no, my head's gonna explode. Please help me. No, you're going to get slayed, you fool. Oh, run off, you booger. All right. Oh, that was a bad shot. No, what are you trying to hurt that guy for? All right. Hey, look, there's a bunch of... um. Arrows up in this place. Time for a head explosion. Off with your head. Did you see that? That was scary, wasn't it? You best not mess with the best. Sharp shooting these suckers. Grog cart, continue. Continue to move forward. Oh! Reinforcements. Oh! Oh, of 
course, they brought out the flaming archers all of a sudden. Well, just gotta get three of them down. Simple enough. Oh, that's a bad shot. Oh, bad shot again. There we go, there's one. Where's then the rest of them? There's one. And three. Push the Gronk cart. Oh, wow, guys. Seriously? All right, we can push it. Make the lady push the Gronk cart. Work those calves, girl. <laughs> okay, we're getting it there. No one's gonna try to stop it? Just, just nobody minding this huge barrel of Gronk? Nobody? Oh, now we've got some combatants. All right, back to normal. Nobody minds. Oh, more archers. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, continue forth. Oh, now you guys are starting to play, huh? Throw you over there. Get to work, you lousy booger. Get to work. No, just fall right there where the Morgul flies are would be nice. Where's the other? Ah, there he is. And, oh, there's one up there. Okay. Oh, we got a big shielder here. Oh my goodness, the, the Grok card. No! No, that's very bad. Oh, hey, 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 whoa, take it easy there, dude. Oh my goodness, what a mess. What a mess! The grog cart was um, heavily damaged. Uh, it's still on fire too. We only have a few more feet to push it. And it's almost there! Uh oh, they've noticed! Oh, come on! You gotta stop the guys throwing things at it. Like that, fool! Oh no! Defend the grog cart! Defend the Grog! Oh, well, that was a faster release arrow than intended. No, don't defeat the Grog! That's my Grog! Execution! Ah, oh, come on. Health shot. Okay, vaulting comes in handy. Surely. An explosion! And a death strike! And a lunge! And a leap! And a more stab! And another attack! There's too many of these fools! Oh, just run right past me. Oh, oh, oh! He, uh, he, uh. Ah, dang it! Oh, the grog cart's gone! Mission reach. Oh, I hate it. Oh my goodness. This was a lot harder than I remember last time. And I don't really know why necessarily. It just... Oh, that was such a... Oh, man. You know what? Okay. That didn't go so well, guys. But you know what? In the follow-up episode, we're going to get this grog card where it belongs. All right? So, come back. And we're going to see you. Uh, it's going to explode. So just wait. You'll see. It's awesome. All right? Just You just, just wait. So here it comes. In the next episode. So make sure you come back. Subscribe. Check back tomorrow. We're going to see a grog card explode. And also come back for the check check in with all the tidbits and awesome gold nuggets you can expect to see from the Shadow of War. So come back for tomorrow's episode. Sorry didn't end up very good. A lot of complaining and annoyance. I didn't really enjoy that mission. It's probably one of my least favorite. But um, anyways, this is Hero signing off. Later, guys.